Hello guys and welcome to another installment of Software Sunday. Today we're going to be taking a look at a piece of software that's going to allow you to verify if the flash inside your flash media devices, whether it be a micro SD card, a flash drive, or even a solid state drive is legitimate or not. Now I came across H2 Test W when I was doing a review on this sketchy 32 gigabyte micro SD card that I bought off eBay for four bucks. I ran it through some tests, transfer speeds looked really good, Windows was recognizing this as a 32 gigabyte device and I transferred a gigabyte media file over to it, everything looked good, I published the review and my subscribers came in the comment section and they were like, you should have tested the capacity. So I went back, pulled the video, tested the capacity, ran into some errors, I started to get suspicious, so I went back to the comments section. A lot of people suggested I should use H2 test W to actually verify if the flash memory on this thing was legitimate or not. And sure enough, this was just a four gigabyte micro SD card with firmware to make it look like a 32 gigabyte SD card. And after you transfer four gigabytes of files over to this thing, it just destroys the rest of the data. So that's not good at all. Today's video is going to be pretty short. I'm going to take you guys over to the screencast. We're going to check out where to get H2 Test W. Of course, I'm also going to host the file on my website. The link for that will be in the description. I'm going to show you how to use it, and I'm going to show you what the results for a legitimate piece of Flash Media look like, and what the results for a fake piece of Flash Media looks like. So let's go ahead, jump over to the screencast. Hey guys, welcome to the screencast. Now I'm going to show you where to get and how to use this incredibly useful piece of software. So go ahead and pop open your internet browser, navigate to Google, or whatever search engine you want really but I'm using Google so if you use something else your results might be different go ahead and punch in h2 test w so it's capital h2 test w and the first thing that should pop up is the softpedia download page that is where I got my version from so go ahead and click on the softpedia link hit download now and we want the, well, I'm in the US, so I'm gonna select the Softpedia Secure Download US. Of course, if you live somewhere else and you wanna use the EU option, that's gonna work just fine as well. As you can see in the bottom right corner, or bottom left corner of my screen, the file has finished downloading, and that has gone to my downloads directory, so I'm gonna pop that open, we're gonna to navigate to downloads, we're just gonna extract the file. There we go, and double click on it, run and select your language, which mine is English, so I'm gonna hit English, and there we go. So it's all good to go now, and I'm gonna show you how to use it. Of course, if you want to download it from my server, uh, that link will be in the description as well, just to make things a little bit easier for you guys. Now this program isn't going to be destructive to whatever data you have on the device that you're testing, but I would highly suggest formatting said device and not really having any important data on there. Uh, once again, you don't have to, but I would suggest doing that. So to get started, you're going to hit select target. I already have a, a USB flash drive plugged into my PC. Now I'm gonna drop down to computer and select my USB flash drive, which in this case is a eight gigabyte flash drive, drive H. There we go, I'm just gonna hit okay. You want to uh, write and verify, and we want to test all available space. Of course, you can also uh, select to only test a specific amount of space right here by clicking this little bubble and typing in how many megabytes you want to test, but I usually just opt to test all the space of the drive because it's just easier, uh, and it also gives you a better idea if the uh, flash media is legitimate in the drive or not. So from this point, really easy. Just go ahead and click write and verify. It's going to write eight gigabytes of data to that drive and then verify that that all eight gigabytes of that data is intact. Now, what I like about this program is that while it's also testing to see if the flash inside your media device is legitimate or not, it's also giving you a uh, pretty, you know, accurate speed rating as well. As you can see, it's uh, telling us the speed right now. So currently data is being written to that flash drive at 8.9 megabytes per second. And when it finishes, it does give you a total average of your write speed. So that's also a nice feature. Um, it also tells you how much time is remaining. So I do appreciate that. You know, uh, I, I want to know if I'm going to be waiting here all day so I can go do something else and it also tells you how much data has currently been written to the drive. So we're currently in the writing process now. After this, it's going to go back and verify all of that data on the drive to make sure it's all intact and then it will spit back the results to you. Now once H2 test W has finished verifying all of the data on the drive, it will give you a result that either looks like this, which is good, 
or a result that's not too good and it looks something like this and if it looks something like this that probably means you got ripped off and that media device that you bought is actually a fake unfortunately or it's uh, just gone bad over time and uh, the memory is no longer reliable. Before I end this, there's one more feature that I want to touch on. It's right here on the bottom right corner of the H2 Test W interface. It's Endless Verify. You can check this and it will verify uh, the data as many passes as you want until you hit stop. So that's also a pretty useful feature. You can just leave it running overnight and if it you know runs all night and passes, then you know that's a pretty reliable uh, piece of uh, flash media there. This piece of software is just so straightforward and so easy to use, that's really all I need to say about it. You guys just need to download it, push a couple buttons, and voila, you're verifying your Flash media device. Now I know for a fact that this is compatible with Windows 7 and Windows 10. I tried to run it under Wine in Zubuntu 14.04, ran into some issues there and couldn't get it to work. If you know, uh, if any of you guys have gotten it to work with any sort of Linux distribution, please leave a comment in the comment section. Yeah, so this is an absolutely fantastic way to verify if your Flash media device is real or a fake. Now, I do have one small problem with this. This is a uh, older way of kind of verifying Flash media. There's some newer pieces of software out there that do it a bit faster. This method is a bit slow, and when it comes to very large drives, such as 32GB uh, or 62GB drives, uh, it takes quite a long time to actually finish the verification process. So that's really the only big issue with this. It gets the job done, but it is a little bit slow. So that's going to be about it for this installment of Software Sunday. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can go ahead and post a comment in the comment section. Don't forget to drop a like on this video. If you didn't like the video, please tell me why. Uh, of course, you can support the channel by using our Amazon and eBay affiliate links. Also, the Patreon is up. You can check that out. Link will be in the description. And I, I keep forgetting to say this, uh, but the Facebook page is also up, so you can check that out in the description as well. I have like 5,000 subscribers and only like 50 followers or I guess 50 likes on Facebook. Uh, so yeah, I really appreciate it if you guys uh, go over and check out the Facebook page uh, because I do give uh, some extra content out on my Facebook page. So thanks for watching guys and I will see you in the next installment of AA Computers and Technology.